if you want that whenever somebody enters in your room then automatically main light is turned on and when nobody stays in your room then only night lamp must glow in this condition for this you have to use two main electrical components the first main electrical component is motion sensor through motion sensor we will detect whether a person is in the room or not after this whatever the light is in your room to turn on and off this light we need switch here you cannot use a normal switch the normal switch you generally use in your home need to be switched on and off manually if you want that the light in your home gets turned on and off automatically then you need a electromechanical switch in the name of electromechanical switch you will get two kind of devices one is your glass relay and another is contactor through this glass relay we cannot flow high current so the best option is to use a contactor the contactor which i am going to use here is a special type of contactor this special type of contactor has some specifications so let's understand about this look here friends in your normal type of contactor the power terminals provided here is always in no contact this means only after the contactor is turned on power is further supplied if your contactor is in off position then no current flows through this but in this special type of contactor the power terminals which are provided here are of no nc type it means you will find two no contact and two nc contact so by using this contactor this night lamp and to this main lamp we can easily perform the change over if you don't have this type of contactor then in this condition you have to use two different contactors so by using this contactor i will explain you the whole concept for wiring of this contactor i am using a two pole mcb from the phase terminal of this mcb connect a wire and to the nonc contact of contactor i will provide input power supply to both the contact similarly from neutral point of mcb provide neutral supply to no contact and nc contact of contactor you can see how connection is done here now in the output terminal of contactor at the no contact present over there two number and four number terminals are of no contact to both these terminals connect this lamp this lamp is our main lamp it means when this get turned on it is sufficient for whole room after this at nc contact of contactor connect this night lamp with nc contact here what is the benefit of using no and nc contact let's clear this concept first if i keep this contactor in off position then our night lamp will glow but when your contactor turns on the night lamp goes off and this main lamp will turn on simple logic is applied here when contactor turns on main light will be on when contactor turns off night lamp will glow now how this contactor gets turned on let's understand as i told you previously when giving intro when somebody enters into your room it means when any motion takes place in your room then in this condition this contactor must be turned on to detect the motion we need a motion sensor so here i have a motion sensor with me for connection of this motion sensor total 3 wires are provided how to do the connection of these 3 wires let's understand to the motion sensor i have now we have to provide phase supply and neutral supply so that this motion sensor can operate to perform this work in this mcb connect one wire with phase terminal of mcb and connect other end with brown wire of sensor now to the blue wire of sensor we have to provide neutral supply from mcb provide neutral supply to sensor directly through neutral terminal of mcb now only red wire of motion sensor is left so connect one wire with this wire and take other end of the wire to the a1 terminal of the contactor so that the contactor will get phase supply to be turned on by this motion sensor now we have to provide neutral supply also to this contactor loop a wire with neutral point here connect the wire with a2 terminal of contactor so that coil of the contactor also gets neutral power supply so only this much connection is required on this motion sensor i have you can see two switch are provided this first switch is for time delay it means when target comes in front of the sensor and goes away then till how much time motion sensor generates output supply 
you can set this time by this switch. This means you can say that a timer is given here. How much time you want to set, you can set here by rotating the knob. Apart from this, one more switch is provided here. Through this, you can control the lux label. It means at how much brightness this motion sensor should be operated, you can do the programming through this switch here. The whole connection is completed. Now let's understand the working of this. As you can see that I am not present in front of motion sensor right now. This is why contactor is not turned on through the motion sensor. And in this condition, night lamp is glowing. As soon as in front of motion sensor, I mean in the range of motion sensor if some motion takes place, then in this condition, contactor will turn on and when contactor turned on, main light will also turn on. If I go back from here, you can see still the light is on. This light will remain on till the time set in timer is not completed. The moment at which time in timer is completed, the light will turn off automatically. You can see light is turned off. When I again comes in range of sensor, you can see light turns on. When I go out of range of sensor, then after the program time, light will turn off. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like on my video. If you are new to the channel, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.